welcome to the start of the first half term. I want to get in. You want to get in what? The video? All we're doing is arguing. <coughs> and it's ten past nine. <laughs> right, why are we arguing? Why can't you just play nicely <coughs> together? Right, listen, when... <coughs> yeah. When Mummy's done this on her laptop, we are getting on our puddle suits and our wellies and we are going outside. And you can burn off some energy and stop arguing with each other. Because if you argue outside, you'll end up falling in the mud. <laughs> right, Casper George, what are you doing? You don't hit your sister with a cushion. There's nothing wrong with her sitting there. Right, Casper, have you seen the size of our sofa? It could probably fit five people on it. Why do you have to sit exactly where she's sat? Right. You kids, honestly. Casper, why are you hyperventilating about the sofa? No! What do you mean, no? You can sit no. there. Good morning from Hotel Genting. Um, I was meant to film yesterday, but it was just all a bit manic. Um, we arrived in Birmingham at about half six last night. For Josh to do a high roots competition and I had, um, I don't know, I have no idea what I was about to say then. <laughs> we basically checked into our hotel and then went straight to the high rocks event and it was just, it's obviously really loud and stuff in there. And then we went to Five Guys, we didn't get in back into this hotel room till 11 o'clock last night so it was all just a bit... A bit manic, um, but it's now five to nine and we're just about to head for some breakfast before we basically go home. So we might have a, some breakfast and then a bit of a mooch or we might have some breakfast and there is a rooftop pool, but I've got a feeling Josh won't be up for that this morning. Time. Very good time. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll probably just have breakfast now and then go for a little bit of a mooch. Um, there's a few shops and stuff in here. It feels like Sunday, but it's not a Saturday, which is weird. But it's also nice because it just means that we have actually still got the rest of the weekend with the kids. Um, so Casper's going to a party today, which my mum is taking him to. So when we get home, he might still be there. I'm not quite sure. Um, I don't know what time it'll finish. And we'll just go get the kids and then I don't know what we've got planned, to be honest. Could go on the Pennine Trail if we're going to go to Tesco and get some tea. And you can go on a new mm. little scooter. Yeah. Uh, and then tomorrow, we're going out for Sunday dinner. So we've actually got a really nice weekend planned. So I just thought I would start vlogging. Um, and then next week, like the beginning of next week, we'll all we'll be getting ready for New York. So I just thought it could just be like a little, spend the weekend with us slash pack for New York, which I've not even thought about, but I think it's because it's not like a sunny holiday where, well, it's actually really sunny. It's going to be about 20 degrees, which is mad because it's not what we thought. I'd, I'd pre-ordered the kids like matching fleeces and stuff. But um, what I mean by that is we don't need like swim nappies, armbands, loads of new holiday clothes. I feel like when you go on holiday for kids, you, you always need something new, whether it's shorts, t-shirts, vests. Whereas as, as an adult, I feel like you just you kind of have your summer wardrobe. But with kids, I always feel like every time you go on a sunny holiday, there's always a lot to think about. But I think because there isn't, I've just not actually thought about it at all. Um, so I'm going to have to start packing them. Well, getting stuff out on Monday. But yeah, we're just going to head for breakfast now. And then we'll see what else we get up to. Um, this is hotel. It's called Genting, by the way. It's in um, Resorts World, Birmingham. It's actually quite nice. So just a little bathroom, standard. And then this is the room. Got a TV on the wall, bed, mess. And then there's even a little coffee machine. And then this is our view. This I think we're quite high up. We're on room, we're on floor four, which is like that top floor. Or there, but then there's this up here, so I don't know what's up there. But I think we're on the top floor, to be fair. And there's just loads of grass. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, it's a bit oriental, I'd say, but it is called Genting. So I think that's, I think it must be some kind of Chinese-y theme, themed room slash hotel. But it's right, it's, it's actually a really good location. It's bang in the middle of Resorts World. There's the Five Guys is basically across from reception. There's a Nando's, a ZZ's. Um, I, think, <laughs> I think there was a Pizza Express. <coughs> Can't remember what else there was. Um, and then there's a few shops as well, so I wouldn't mind just going for a little mooch in there. There's the next outlet. So, yeah, like I say, I wouldn't mind just having a little nose in there. Because Casper does need some jeans. I've literally just been on... A bike and a scooter ride, but it didn't last that long. Hindi was not that fast about a scooter at all. Where's she gone? I got it in there. <laughs> she just went shutty. Oh my word. Oh. What are you sneaks doing in there? Sneakers. You sneaky feet. There's a bubble. Should we just leave you there while we go to the shop? Bye bye. Bye bye, dear. See you there. Stop. Stop what? Anyway, going now. We'll go to the shops now. Bye bye. What do you want for tea? Yeah, oh. Us, you want us? Pasta, eh? <laughs> Come on then. Come on, you need to get out and put the bikes in. Well, yesterday did not go to plan at all. Um, I was meant to vlog, but I didn't. <laughs> Basically, um, yesterday was Sunday and we got up as a normal sunday like quite chilled and casper's behavior was honestly so bad <laughs> i just can't even explain how bad it was um everything was just an issue it was screaming it was shouting it was throwing stuff um and oh he's doing it again we just between us we just didn't handle it well at all um casper what's wrong casper oh, darling what's wrong what did it do Right, well, we don't need to scream or throw anything, okay? Mummy will be downstairs in five minutes when she's put this wash... Honestly, I can't even explain to you what is... I don't know what's going on in his head at all. It's been like that this morning as well, but we were a little bit better and he managed to calm down, but it's just relentless. Why are they like this when you're looking forward to actually spending time with them? Anyway, I then got casper in the car yesterday because i was just like i cannot deal with this any longer like he needs to go to sleep he was overtired obviously the clocks went back he got up at half five which technically is half six it was all right but um yeah it was just a bad day so i ended up getting him in the car and saying that i was taking him on drive just to basically try and get him to sleep um and we've been driving for like 15 minutes I was getting really mad in the car because he was still shouting at me and obviously I was just I would have never done it but I was just in that mindset I was like I, I could actually crash my car like I could actually just crash into a wall and <coughs> fucking hell he's literally just arguing with himself but if you locked him in a padded room he'd just argue with himself at the minute but the thing is if I even go and help him he's not interested Anyway, came across this really bad accident and it literally just happened like 30 seconds prior. Um, so I stopped the car to just kind of give myself a few seconds to try and work out what was actually going on. And um, some man had been knocked off his bike. He was rolling around in the middle of the floor. And there was two other people just stood over the top of him, just staring at him. And then there was like, I can't, re honestly can't remember. You know when something's just like a complete blur and you can't actually remember who was there, what was going on. Um, but I remember some young lads being there. So I thought they was driving. I thought they must have been in driving. 
but they weren't but then they disappeared honestly just i feel like it was all just like what the hell is going on but um anyway i got out because i was just like i'm first aid trained like what if no one else is and obviously no there's no ambulance there there's no police there so i got out your drinks by mummy's bag darling i've literally just tried to put the clothes away for 10 minutes and said that i'll come back downstairs but anyway so yeah i was first aid trained and when i got there i said is anyone first aid trained and Casper, I'm just putting the clothes away, darling, and then I'll... Casper, what did I say to you? I said, you're usually at school, and Mummy do, does these jobs when you're at school, and I still have to do them, okay? morning everyone um yesterday do you know what i just feel like my life is upside down at the minute i can't even comprehend the things that is going on and the things that i'm seeing but casper's behavior yesterday just got so bad i actually had to walk out of the house josh was in the gym i wouldn't have left if it wasn't but i just had to walk out because i thought i'm actually going to explode or throw something so i just walked out the house um he is just so I think because he's so good at being someone he's not as in like at school he's just so perfect and he's an angel and he just tries really hard to mask things that when he's now at home and he knows he's got a few days off he is literally just it's like unleash the beast honestly um and trying to regulate yourself whilst trying to regulate them is so hard and obviously on sunday I saw really I was involved in a really traumatic experience and I think that is still weighing on me I think about this man every hour of the day since it happened I can't remember what I was even saying but basically I arrived at the scene about a minute after it happened and I was the only first aid trained person there so I got out of the car and asked anyone if they were first aid trained and everyone said no but and then I just remember saying to someone, please, can you go check on my little boy? My little boy is in my car. I don't want him to get out. Like, so I was thinking, oh my God, like I've asked this question and I just wasn't expecting the answer. Like, this is now all on me. Right this minute, I am the only person here that is first aid trained. Anyway, luckily, another cyclist pulled up about a minute later and he actually was like an ex-paramedic. So between me and him, we got him in the recovery position and he had a really serious head injury there was blood all over the road he still had his helmet on though his helmet had like all cracked into his head um and then i remember then going to check on casper myself because i went to get a blanket out of the car to get under his head and then all these the people had just disappeared you know when you just don't really know what's going on but the, the, i remember the boy i asked to go and check on casper about 10 minutes later wasn't there so i don't know who he was i don't know what car he was in i thought he was in the driver's car but the driver was actually on his own um the poor driver was absolutely beside him well he was really brave actually he was really strong and really like he wasn't crying he wasn't shouting but he was just distraught he was like oh my god i just hope he's gonna be okay he had to ring his dad off my phone because his phone was being used to call the ambulance like as soon as he did it he literally must have called an ambulance straight away um and yeah it was just carnage to be honest and it was just a few minutes where i was like this man is actually gonna die in front of me i'm i'm literally sat next to a man that is gonna die 
Um, but anyway, another doctor arrived who was on call. She was walking the dogs and she managed to kind of settle him a bit more. I, yeah, I then went and got another blanket out of the car. Um, I was just looking in the car for something and I managed to find a picnic blanket under the prams, which massively helped because obviously picnic blankets are kind of like a foil blanket. So I wrapped his legs up in that because it was freezing. And he obviously just had like his thin, like this kind of material cycling stuff on. Um, but then this woman unzipped his top and saw that he had a really bad chest injury, which I didn't see because he was kind of rolled on his side and she was at the other side by this point. Um, but yeah, we waited for the helicopter to come. She kept saying that he needs to be put to sleep, like he's got a serious head injury. Then they kept having to check his pulse. And I was literally just stood watching. I ended up having to ring Josh to come and get Casper out of the car because obviously I just didn't really want him in there. But bless him, he was really good. He just sat in the car. Um, and yeah, it's just really traumatic. Like, I've not heard anything. I've not seen anything in the news. I don't I, I don't even know where he's from. He might not even be from around us. He could have been on a long bike ride. He could have been two hours from home. I've got absolutely no idea. And then the other cyclists and the driver were just arguing. It was just... And I just felt like I was the only peacemaker. <laughs> so they started arguing before anyone else got there. And there was literally the paramedic and the knocked down cyclist on the floor. And then there was the other cyclist who was with him. And the driver. And me. And them two were just arguing. And I was just stood there like, this is not helping. Like, it's really not helping. There's a man on the floor that needs serious help. And you two are just arguing. Like, let's just call it quits. He's telling you it's not his fault. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, obviously that was like two days ago now and I just can't stop thinking about it and it, I just feel like it's a memory that's going to be forever in my head, to be honest, that I just literally, I, I didn't actually see it happen, but I was there like 30 to 60 seconds after. Um, but I think I was saying yesterday, I was in such a bad place on Sunday because Casper's behaviour was just so bad and I was driving to get him to sleep and I was in one of the moods I was like I could actually just crash my car into a wall and then I came across this accident and I just feel like everything happens for a reason doesn't it like that accident could have it stopped me from having an accident and also I was the only one with blankets in my car I was the only one with um who was first aid trained his friend bless him who was a cyclist was like god i really need to get some basic first aid training and i was just like i think everyone should like i just think it's one of them things that everyone should have basic first aid training um but then in that situation i was just a bit like oh my god i don't even know what to do i don't know if to get him in the recovery position because if he's broken his spine that's really bad like we can't move him so i told his friend to just keep his head still because he was rolling around and i was like if he's broken his spine or oh, he's got a spinal injury or his neck he needs to not be moving around but i think it became quite clear quite quickly that he'd not damaged his neck or his spine because he was rolling around a lot but he was unconscious honestly i just I, I just can't tell you i just really 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 hope he's okay but anyway i've just got to the gym i've just shot some pre-workout because i've got a new glute session from sofa he was obviously on um who i'm doing the plan with and yeah i just thought i need some pre-workout so i'm off to do that now and hope to just kind of burn some energy and burn some steam so i'll catch up soon what a week oh my goodness me do you know what i don't even know when i last filmed i think it was monday and it's now Wednesday, or was it Tuesday? I can't remember when I picked up the camera to be honest. I actually think it was Monday But all the days are just blurred into one to be quite honest um, because Casper's behavior Oh wow He is really letting off some steam at the minute um, It's half eight and he's only just gone to sleep and he's fast asleep on his bedroom floor because he refused to get in bed because I put toothpaste on his toothbrush, even though he threw the toothpaste in the bath. So obviously, I wasn't giving him the chance to put the toothpaste on himself because he'd already lost that chance. But anyway, I've um, been doing a little bit of packing today. Well, I say packing, I've not packed at all. 
I've just basically laid the kids' clothes out on the bed, but I need to lay a lot more stuff out. Um, I think I've got four pairs of Casper's boxes. I've got loads of clothes drying in the kitchen, and then I need to try and do another wash load tomorrow, so that's fun. Um, I also need to edit this video because I want to get it up before we fly. And I need to just clear my camera ready for the vlogs, the holiday vlogs. Um, but it's just one of them where I'm like, I don't even feel like we're going away. Like, it's just, I'm just not prepared at all. Um, but like I said before, I think because it's not like um, a sunny holiday, although it is quite sunny, but it's not like a beach holiday or a pool holiday, so I just don't feel like you need as much stuff. Um, right now, oh my god, it's 26 degrees there tomorrow. That is mental. I'm going to have to take some sun cream. So Friday, the day that we get there is 25 degrees. And Saturday and Sunday are 15 degrees. I mean, how on earth are you meant to pack for that? Honestly. And then Tuesday, the day we come home is 21 degrees. Oh, God. I just don't even know what to pack, to be honest. I feel like it's easier to pack for the kids because everything's really small, so I can fit more stuff. But it's more me. Like, I just really don't know what to take. Anyway, I am about to go downstairs and just get a fizzy drink and chill out. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I've got loads to do, but I just can't be asked. Um, I got sent this Sweet Bee Organic Sweet Sleep Magnesium Butter, and I did actually put it on the kids' feet last night. And guess what? It didn't work. <laughs> I'm going to do it again tonight, just in case it works. Um, both kids were up at half five this morning, but... And Indy got up at quarter to five yesterday, which is just awful. But I think she woke Casper up this morning because she's been so loud. Um, I need to get Casper off his bedroom floor and put him in bed as well. But if he's just not quite got into a deep sleep, he will wake up and kick off. So it's just like finding the right moment to do that. Um, but yeah, I don't even think I showed you my nails. I had my nails done on Tuesday. Um, I've just got like gold sparkles and a little Turkish eye. I don't think you can even see them, to be honest. It's not focusing on my nails. I also just feel like life has thrown a lot of curveballs at me lately. Um, obviously last week Casper was ill and I basically had him at home all week so I hardly did anything and then this week is the half term and I've done nothing. And then obviously that accident on Sunday, I just feel like, <laughs> honestly, life knows when to test you, doesn't it? But I can't complain, I'm going to New York in two days, which is a very, very great experience. So I'm going to come off here, I'll probably film a little bit in the morning and then I am going to edit this vlog. Right, I am just doing a little bit of packing for New York and then I am going to edit this video because I've got three and a half hours until I need to be at the dentist and then that is it. I've got no more time to do anything like this. Obviously tonight and everything will just be spent making sure everything is ready. So, <laughs> I've got most of the kids stuff out. There's just a few things on the dryer downstairs um, and then all of my stuff is in here. And I've literally just put a fleece and some knickers in there. So me and India are going to have this case. And Josh and Casper are going to have this case. Um, or I'll probably put a few bits in there as well. Because Casper's stuff is not going to overtake all that. <laughs> I still just really do not know what to take. But I bought these kids. These kids? I bought the kids. Why can't you open this? Right, I've packed as much as of mine and Indy's as I can. I just need to wait for some stuff to dry. Um, I've got all the t-shirts here. And then her new reins. <laughs> How cute are these from Amazon? It's like a little backpack as well. Um, but I just thought in somewhere like New York, she just needs them. I've always been a bit against them, but then I had Indy. And she literally has no fear whatsoever, so reins are going on her. 
Um, I just can't decide what shoes to wear to the airport. I don't know if to wear my new Samba trainers. In fact, they're not Sambas, they're Spezials. I don't know if to wear them, which I think I might because I think, feel like it might just wear them in a little bit. Or I don't know whether to wear my Taz. But then I just feel like I won't wear my Taz when I'm there. So I feel like it might be a bit pointless even taking them. Um, so I think I might wear these because they're brand new and I've not worn them. And it might just help me to wear them in a bit. And yeah, I just can't imagine myself walking around New York in Taz anyway. It would be more just for the plane. So we'll just see what kind of room we've got. Because I need to put my running trainers in as well. And I've also got another pair of trainers that I've packed in. Down in this side. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching guys. And I'll see you in my New York vlog.